welcome to this episode of Cosmic Crotera, where today we're going to be doing a reading for the fixed fire sign of Leo. As you can tell from the card right here, which is from the Stories Oracle from the 8th house. Here's the box, if you want to see it. And it shows a lion, which is the sign, astrological sign, for Leo. Which we have the, the constellation right here. I almost forgot that word again. And a question up here that, you know, poses the question and gives you more to think about. Question asks, what if you are so much stronger than you realize? That is the energy of Leo, which is considered the showman of the zodiac. And if you take the time, which I do when I'm bored sometimes, um, to look up like celebrities' birth charts, most often their sun sign will be in the sign of Leo, which occurs from July 21st to about August 20th, 21st. So the sign of the lion, the sign of the showman, the one who's not afraid to go after their dreams and show the world what they can do. Before we get to the actual reading, though, I'd like to talk about the astrological correspondences with the sign of Leo, which you see right here. And we'll start with strength, because it's the uh, major arcana card that's astrologically connected to Leo. This card is from the Healing Light Tarot, and you can see the illustration shows a lion right here, and people kind of holding it up or fearing it. There's a different aspect there, like depending on how you want to see it, but you can fear your inner strength, or you can hold it up and rise above your fear of it and use it to make the best out of your life. Now, strength and justice in the major arcana are switched sometimes. The Tarot de Marseille shares strength as 11, whereas the um, Rider Waite, which is what most of the decks, well, the decks I have here, except for this one, the Rider Waite basis with Arthur Edward Waite chose to make strength as 8, which makes a lot of sense because Leo, the sign that's astrologically connected to it, is the eighth month of the year, like mostly occurring during August. So that makes a lot of sense and why most of the illustrations that we see of Leo, uh, strength depicts a lion of some sort. Two court cards are related, astrologically related to Leo as well. We have the King of Wands, which represents the first two deacons, and it's from the Mystical Medley's Tarot. And I really like this illustration because it kind of depicts the whole showman, although this is clearly the director. But a lot of times celebrities and actors and stuff, they get behind the camera as well. And they're not afraid to direct other people and to let them show the world what they can do too. So that's the first two deacons of Leo about July 2021st 20, to um, August 10th. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which relates to the third deacon and continues to the energy of Virgo, which is the hardworking knight that isn't afraid of a boring mundane time in order to achieve their goals. Now this card is from the Crow Tarot, which I'll leave a description down in the link below of where you can purchase all these decks if you want to add them to your own collection. But in order to achieve your goals, you know, be successful and show the world what you can do, you need to work for it. And as with everything in life, sometimes the work that you're doing can be boring and make you not want to continue it. But if you want to find success, like the crow in the illustration here, you have to be focused on it. You have to be willing to work for it and put in the effort in order to achieve your goals. Find the strength within to go after your dreams and be what you're meant to be. Show the world what you can do. There's three core, oh, major, minor, blah, I'll say every word before I get to it. Three minor arcana cards related to Leo as well. It's the five, six, and seven of wands. Now, it's really easy to know the astrological correspondences when you kind of think of it a little easier. Um, fixed signs, you know, since they're like set in their ways considered that way, it'd be five, six, and seven because they're in the middle of the suit. And then the just the suit relates to the element of the sign. So this is the fixed sign of fire. So it would be the wand suit because that's the element of the wand suit. So the five of wands comes from the zombie tarot. What I really like about this illustration, because the Five of Wands is a card of like, I call it like immature conflict, because other people's passions, you know, conflict with your own, and it's hard to keep going. But in this illustration, two characters here, which are rather immature, are fighting over the dude's legs. But as they're fighting, they don't notice that the dude is getting away. So a lot of times when people are fighting in that immaturity range, if you're more mature and you're able to look away from it, you're likely able to get a head start and get a leg up over the ones that want to continuously fight. The Six of Wands comes from the Deviant Moon Tarot, which I've told you many times before is my favorite deck of all time. And you can tell Natural Leader, that's what Leo is. 
like taking control and confident and showing the other world what they can do. This is a card of celebrating your victories, reflecting on the past and appreciating where you came from and others appreciating you too. You can see the character here has blossomed out of his cocoon and others are raising their staffs up or their wands up to appreciate what he's accomplished. But like the strength card I have up here, there can be a different thought there as well if you want to take it in a negative aspect and those wands are there threatening him. Five of Wands would represent the first Deacon of Leo about July 20th, 21st to August 1st or July 31st. And this would follow that card, which would be August 1st to August 10th. And then that brings us to the Seven of Wands, which is August 11th through about August 20th or 21st. This card comes from the Voyager Tarot. And you can see on the top, it says Courage, which is something I really love about this deck because it gives you key words about it. And there's so much going on in this card, it's a bit hard to interpret sometimes, but I've chosen it because it has a lot of history to it. You see all the tribes of the past, and you think about that, and it's how much, how hard people have worked in the past to find their strength and find the confidence they need to go after their dreams. So that's like the energy of Leo. Whether your sun sign is in Leo, your moon sign, rising sign, it doesn't matter if there's any strong aspect of Leo there. You have that strength and confidence and you need, you need in there somewhere in your chart. And if you find the confidence within, you can embrace that inner line and go after your dreams. So those are the energies that are kind of surrounding us around that time of year, about July 20th, 21st to August 2021st. And just an idea of what you might expect, what the energies might be, or to give you an idea and something more to add to your own tarot reading. I'll go ahead and get all these out of the way and put them back and get right to you with the actual reading. The deck we'll be using for your reading, Leo, is the Wild Unknown Tarot. Kita greeted by Kim Kranz. Kim Kranz, I'm sorry if I pronounced that correctly incorrectly. And you can't really see the crystals in the video, but I have all the crystals connected to Leo so we can connect with the energy better. There is Sunstone. Pyrite also known as Fool's Gold, Labradorite, and this is a rat pendant that has since broken its chain, or it's, well, the thing that hooks and makes it a necklace, so it's just a pretty piece of Labradorite for now. Citrine, Amethyst, Tiger's Eye, Carnelian, call these my twins because they're so tiny I never separate them, and Howlet. Now, as I've been showing you in my videos, we'll be shuffling the deck like I do, so it does not get warped. And also, because I suck at shuffling. So this is a good way to connect with the deck. You know, think about the questions you want to ask. So this is a general reading. We're not asking anything specific. We are just asking whatever the cards want to share. That's what we like to hear. And we thank them for doing so. I always say thank you for giving me a voice. You are the reason that I have a voice, and I love being able to inspire and empower others to take the best like take take control and make the best out of their lives so whatever the wild unknown wants to share with you today leo that's what we are going to do and this deck is it's a very beautiful deck but i will admit it's a little bit difficult to read with but you will see in a moment it's one of the most popular decks out too and i've seen it said it's uh, written before that it's the most popular modern tarot deck out there so it really called to me to use this deck for you, Leo. And we just want to see whatever general message that it has for you. It may resonate with you, it may not. But we greatly thank and appreciate the cards for sharing this message with us. Just have them already cut. So then we just need to stack them all back. Little feature at the bottom of the deck. Just the sharing is carrying card. Unless somehow I magically make that not the bottom of the deck anymore. Let's do this one. This one. And this one. Okay. There we have the Six of Pentacles, which I call the Sharing is Caring card, is the bottom of the deck. So it shows the overall energy, which relates back to this like showman energy, you know, share your confidence and share, share your light with the world. 
We have the two of wands, the two of pentacles, and the six of wands. So we have two and six. Those are the very strong energies here. And two is a number of having compassion, choices, feminine energy, and thinking things through. Relates to the high priestess of the major arcana. And six relates to the lovers, which shows, like, the same as having compassion for others and trusting your intuition. You need to love yourself, too, and reflect on the past and appreciate that. Beginning with the two of wands, it seems that you have an inner fire that you need to make a choice about. Perhaps you have two ideas or two paths that you want to begin, and the Two of Wands, which I call the Should I Stay or Should I Go card, suggests making that choice, looking within, taking the time to decide what really lights your inner fire and what you want to follow, and then begin the path of achieving it. Followed by the Two of Pentacles here, we have the energy, fiery energy of the Two of Wands with the more down-to-earth and grounded energy of the Two of Pentacles. Which seems to be suggesting that when you make this choice, you probably will likely need to balance it with something else. Because I, I feel like Leo is a very, very confident sign. You know, you've got a lot of things going for you. People look up to you. You're a passionate, fiery soul that has, you know, a lot to accomplish and a lot to appreciate. That inner fire of yours, it compares to, to the cardinal fire of Aries and the mutable, Aries, mutable fire of Sagittarius. It shows like that passion and enthusiasm for life can take you really far but with the two of wands here it suggests that there's there might be more to it than you can take on right now you might need to make a choice and the two of pentacles kind of suggests with that grounding energy that you need to become more grounded and more balanced in order to achieve your goals the six of wands which we met with the deviant moon tarot a moment ago with the card of victories and like appreciating how far you've come that number six relates to self-reflection self and that fiery, enthusiastic energy in you that what you've achieved in the past and what you've accomplished can help you in the present. So reflect on the past in order to make the best decision for yourself in the present. We'll refer back to this card over here where it says, what if you are so, so much stronger than you realize? And if you're having any doubt, of whether you can achieve something or not. You really need to look within and embrace that inner lion, have that inner enthusiasm, and believe in your ability to achieve your goals. That means if you're having a choice, like if you're comfortable where you are, if you want to move, or whatever is keeping you from letting that inner fire really burn brightly, the Two of Wands kind of suggests that making the choice to have the confidence you need to go after your goals. And with the Two of Pentacles energy there, the butterfly illustration here and the infinity sign in the middle with the pentacles kind of gives me the idea of transformation. You know, believing in yourself more and having the confidence to make those important choices and create a life that you truly love and are passionate about. With the Six of Wands over here, with the kind of like the advice position, I don't know. As I said, I didn't actually have specific questions, so generalize. Learn from the past, appreciate where you've been, and appreciate all those victories that you have accomplished in the past, as well as all the failures and disappointments that you've overcome, because each and every one of those can teach you what you need and give you the strength you need to make the best out of the present. My, my favorite motto that I use a lot is learn from the past to predict the future. The future isn't written, you are the one creating it. So by learning from the past and making the choice to go after your dreams while staying grounded and balanced, you know, doing what you're passionate about with doing what you need to do to stay above ground, like above flow and feel in control. Just find balance between the two in order to find success. The Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you know, like the Six of Wands shows self-reflection or represents self-reflection, but it also, like I said, represents sharing. And my like I always call it the sharing is caring card because when you share your light with others, you share your gifts and your abilities as well as your finances and like just overall good energy with others it really starts to take on its own life and makes the world better for everybody so a really empowering message here for you leo i realize there are no major arcana cards here so this this might not be as important as if like strength showed up or the high priestess or something like that but we do have a very empowering message here make the choice to believe in yourself Take that inner fire, that inner light, and choose what you want to do with it while staying grounded and connected to the earth. Transform your life into something you can truly be proud of by staying balanced and taking control, doing what you need to do while doing what you love to do as well. 
And the Six of Wands reminds you to learn from the past as well. Always have an enthusiasm and excitement for life and feel in your heart that you are worthy of being victorious because being able to feel it within, seeing what you want to achieve makes it so much more easy and worthwhile when you actually achieve it. And the Six of Pentacles reminds you that you are the showman of the Zodiac and you have so much to offer and so much to share with the world. You should never doubt yourself. Be the confident, enthusiastic lion that you were meant to be and let your inner fire lead you to creating a life that you truly love and appreciate. This is just a general reading, as I said, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If you want a more personalized reading, Leo, then feel free to send me a message, comment on this video, um, send me a message on the socials, I'll leave those down in the descriptions, or you can book it on my website, which I will leave down in the description as well, and we can get a more detailed, more personalized reading with this deck or with any deck that in my collection that you would like to see for your reading. I truly hope that you enjoyed everything that you've seen here and that it inspires you and empowers you to go after your dreams. There's no day like the present to really make your life exactly what you want to be. So let go of the indecisiveness, let your inner fire lead you to finding success while staying balanced and grounded and learn from the past to make the best of the future. Thank you very much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one.